Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Are you also seeing this message on your screen? Is your Office 365 subscription about to expire or has it already expired? Before you think about the buying another license, wait for a minute. Today, let's talk about the fantastic free alternative to Microsoft Office, which is Google Workspace. It packed with powerful tools like docs, sheets and slides and best of all and best part is it's absolutely free. In this video we are going to test Microsoft Office 365 document compatibility with Google Workspace and vice versa. I will demonstrate how to use Google document offline means even you, if you are not connected to internet you can still edit the document. So without any further delay let's get into the video. Let's go to our desktop and uh, we have we need a, a Google Chrome browser make, make sure that you use the Google Chrome browser inside the browser we have to go and download the Google Drive first. So let's download the Google Drive. Download Google Drive. So you can see here this is downloading the Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive is downloaded successfully. Let's go ahead and install it. Okay, click on the yes and add this application shortcut on your desktop. Click on install. So you might be thinking what I'm talking about this Word, Excel and PowerPoint but why I'm asking you to install the Google Drive. Yeah, <laughs> that will come to later in this video but just just install this, trust me, just install this Google Drive and I'll explain you once we go further like why it is required. Now you will also come to know that why this is required, right? So click on the launch here. So this will launch and then you need to log into the Google Drive. So as of now, it is just installed. Hopefully it will ask you for username and password. So you can see in the taskbar, you can see this uh, header icon here. Right click on it. And you can see whether you have logged into it or not. Okay, I have already logged into this my account. If you have not logged in, it will ask you to log into your Google account. Yeah, it will ask you in the browser itself. So just log in here. Login is very simple. After the login, you have to go to your Google Drive. So where is my Google Drive? Here is my Google Drive. And you can see here. Let's open this. So you can see my drive. Inside the my drive, we have my home PC, right? So these are the two folder by default folder, folder is created. Okay, so now one thing you notice on my desktop, you have a slide sheet and document google knows that these are the three document types so anyone who use the computer he must need these three type of application google doc is your similar to your microsoft office google sheet is your excel and google slide your powerpoint presentation so this time we are going to demonstrate this word excel and powerpoint and then we'll go ahead and compare this microsoft office to it. So let's open this uh, Google Sheet. So as I said, this is your document. So let's create a blank document. Yes, you can see here this menu here. So in the menu, you can see the file. In the file, you have an email. Email this file. I mean, so this is the one which we are using here is, is an online document. Right. So whatever we open, whatever we create, we will we'll directly create on the Google Drive. Why in the Google Drive? So imagine that when our system crashed for some reason, Right. We never know when you have a laptop, desktop, it could be because of your hardware failure or the software failure. It may crash the document. So let's give this uh, like uh, important, let's say customer copy. This is some document that we have a customer copy here. Imagine that uh, you are traveling, you're not in office or you're somewhere else. But when you have created a document in the Google Drive on your desktop, this is the desktop I have installed here, right? This document will be available for you and it will sync back to my desktop this is synced with our google drive not exactly with the desktop but it's synced with the google drive so where you use a google you use your google drive on your mobile phone on your laptop on your tablet or your apple device so this customer copy will be available across your devices wherever you have a microsoft account added so no matter whether you are in front of the computer or somewhere else you can use this file so this is the first advantage and that is what i've asked you to install the Google Drive, right? So this is the first advantage. Now I was showing you that you can use this. Uh, uh, you can see this interface of this uh, the Google uh, Docs, right? This is the uh, this is about your uh, this is Google Docs. So you can see here you have an insert, insert your table, right? And then what is the difference you found here? Google Docs and your Microsoft Word is say that how many tables you want. You can go ahead and select it. You can see here similar like this, right? When you go to the Word, let me open the Word here. Uh, let me show you this very quickly. So this is the word and I want to insert this table here. So I can also select this table, right? Click on okay. It's easy, right? This is it is just a matter of how you use it and how frequently you use it. So once you start using this Google document, you will be able to do that, right? It will take some time, but trust me, once you start using it, you will find this very useful, right? So I said that if you want to insert a chart here, you can just insert a pie line here. You can see this, this is inserted, right? When you go to the word insert, 
chart lines insert okay you can see what difference you find here right so you can see this is the microsoft word you have a line here and this is your uh, google doc and you can see this is i have inserted the both the lines what difference you see here nothing right and again this is about your page alignment left right and other stuff these are the numbering right you have a cropping tools you can crop it view insert format tools extension right you can you can have this more extensions you can add in so this is about your word document let's close this now it's time to open the let, let me close this word also microsoft word also now let's go and open the excel so where is my google drive now it's time to open the excel so you so either you can go and click on this desktop it will take you to the browser and you can create a Google sheet here or other way around is just right click on it show more option if it is you have a Windows 11 new and you can see Google sheet here let's click on the Google sheet here and you can see you can go there and let's say uh, give you the document name let's say the customer data and you can see here I have a customer data Excel sheet is created here now you can see file insert insert view right you can freeze raw comment groups insert you have insert raw column sheet tables pivot table images drawing function right so let's insert some images insert over the cell browse math here we go this is what you are looking for right so we have inserted a cell and now we can see uh, let's copy some data over here so example these are some sample data so this is automatically save you don't have to so you can see the moment you make any entry it will save you to the drive forget about your uh, you're losing the data your unsaved data notice here this small icon here so let's say uh, I'm just adding an name as Paul and you can see this is saving save it's a quickly save your doc right so you can see that you have a tool you have extensions and then you have lots of other stuff you can data also you can create a filters right you can you have a data validation like how you do in the in a Microsoft Word it will take some time to learn the data uh, this is about your uh, Excel so now let's see about the slide that's a PowerPoint presentation so right click on it again click on the new or Google slides or you can just click on the Google slides here right and now click a blank presentation and you can see here this uh, slide is open here now it's time to edit your document so you can see there are a p template and themes here on the right hand side you can go ahead and select any of the themes this is how the microsoft also provide you the similar kind of themes right you can go ahead and edit the theme and you can create a powerpoint presentation so let's say this is for the sales this is for the sales presentation so let's add this one and you can see this is save presentation is about the q1 mobile sales and you can see you can add your templates here right again you have file view insert format slide arrange tools extension there i mean it's everything is there all you need to do is just figure it out how we can do it so now the question is i have a um let's say i have created a document here let's say this is the powerpoint presentation i have created here and i have to send it to one of our customer and we don't know what type of office packages they are using right we are not sure but normally 99 percent of the time we send in the i mean microsoft word format doc X format all your windows all your new microsoft office 365 or microsoft office 2024 all support the docx extension so we will also send this docx extension to the, our customer how do i do that okay. for that you have to click on the file and click on the download once you click on the download you have to select on the pptx pptx your microsoft powerpoint presentation click on here and it will download the file let's see how it is going to download it downloading yeah you can see this is downloaded let's go to the download folder and this is the one i have a microsoft uh, office install on this system also so double click on it and let's say let's see if it is whether we are able to open or not okay got it oh my god again this is this is this message is really irritating so let's close this one you can see mobile cells you have the same color same font everything is as it is including your fonts also right now let me show it to you in the excel also so let's go and open this excel file again download and you can see this xls and click download as a xls there are the extension also download that ods ods is the open document so your LibreOffice, open office apache office all this support the ods of right but microsoft this is support the xls stock and you have a csv and tsv you need this custom one you can go ahead and do that but we, for now we'll talk about this xls so you can see this excel document is also downloaded so let's go to our download folder what is the name customer data let's go to our download folder and you can see this is the customer data let's open that so this is going to open in the microsoft excel and here we go you can see our data is in there in the excel document including this image now 
you will say that okay boss now you have showed me that when we send the data to a customer customer can open it but how about if customer send the data to us how do we use it okay i got your answer so let's say customer has sent you some data like this so this data is sent by the customer they have edited the same doc document and send this file to you enable editing and uh, let's delete this call and leave one line blank and just add now i'm going to save it just save this doc you can see that i have added two lines let's let me color it out so that it will be easier for us to understand that these are the document these are the data which i have sent by the customers and let's save let me close this one now how do we open this in the our google doc fine i understand so where is our uh, customer data uh, it is in our uh, download folder let's go customer data actually we have a two file name a similar file name customer data so let's rename that uh, rename it to customer data you can see a return return and just copy and move it to copy and paste into the my drive and once you copy the file you have to go to your uh, your web browser and then you can see this customer return dot xls open that file so you can see opening the file in the google sheet and now you can see your data you can see this is in the we are using this xls right you can see this extension here and we are using this into the google sheet so this is how it says that it proved that we have a compatibility between microsoft office and google workspace and this is important so i can see what else you need right this is providing google is providing with 15 gb of the space to you right and this is universal you can use it across your devices so this excel sheet when you have this excel sheet ready with you handy with you when you, even you are in traveling or you're not in office you can send this data to your customer or your office colleague or someone else who can take care of this one right so this is the one advantage i'm, I'm not compare that with the microsoft OneDrive and all other thing but this is the one of the advantage i'm trying to explain you so you can utilize it right so now now it's time to show you the one more thing so imagine that um, let's say imagine that you have a internet but that's not a stable that and you have a, intermittently you are having the issue you can see when you do not have a internet this will go uh, this is going to your google site and then you are able to edit the document or add something or be something on this what but how about when you when you're offline let's say there is an internet problem at your area right yeah you cannot work on the new files but you can edit the existing file and you can work on it so how do you do that okay for that you can see this is open the microsoft edge so microsoft edge is not going to work we, we should have google chrome so with that let's open this document in the google chrome open with you can see it google chrome is not showing if you're on computer it's showing the google chrome just right click open with google chrome if it is not there and when you have a google chrome installed on it you can see i have a google chrome installed on my system but when i right click on it and and open with list it's not showing so i'll show you the option so right click on it open with choose another app and you can see choose an app from your pc go there google and here are chrome applications and you can see this chrome here select this and always click on the always here so now what happened is let's open this customer data it's actually that this this is one default app so google chrome so actually this is not working so what we will do is we can go to this uh, app default app select in the list you can type the chrome here select here and set as a default so now your chrome will be the default browser let's close this one okay so after making google chrome as a default browser i had to log into the google chrome and once i logged into the google chrome now it says that when you click on this uh, i'm in google drive now and when i click on the excel it's opening in the google chrome this is the google chrome right now i said that when you do not have an internet how do you edit that file right so let's do that what we can do is you have to go click on this icon if you have a word excel anything just click on the icon here and you will back to this home page you can see docs.google.com you have to click on the three dots here and then click on the setting in this inside the setting you can see this is that offline mode enable this offline mode and click on the ok so once we enable that you can see setting up the offline you can see this uh, message here ok so once this set it up it will ask you to add the extension or it will automatically add the extension so let's see in manage extension you can see i have this google docs offline extension is added if you are in your case if it is not added just go to the extension and search this one and enable this one you have to download and add this extension and enable it if, but in most of the cases when you have a google drive install it's not going to ask i mean it will just automatically does for you right now so let me disable the internet so disable the internet so this is my LAN card and disable this you can see i'm out of internet let's say open this google no internet 
right internet is gone so now let's click on the sheet you can see i'm in offline mode let's close this one also i'm closing this down but however you have all the data on your google drive already synced on it so let's say if you want to open this customer data and you do not have internet you can see this icon here customer data here and this will open in the offline mode right now you can if you want to add like let's say um raj k okay, and it's like a mobile unit how many units that 20 units with the 20 what is the price let's say 2000 rupees right sale amount 20000 okay and you can see this is the saving and this is saved so you can see you can able to work on the offline mode so let's close this one and try to open this uh, open this uh, document offline and you can work through that you can see i've tried to open this google this customer copy line chart one this is the google sheet and when i open this one i'm able to open it i can able to add it say sales you can see sales you can name okay and it will automatically save that's it you can close it so that is the reason i ask you to have install this google drive on your local system and whatever the files and folders you will create here this will be automatically sync and then once you enable the google offline it will be available for you on the offline also this will very helpful when you have an internet intermittent internet issue or there is a problem with the internet in the area so this is the sales doc let's see that there is a ppt file which we have created we have it we are in the offline mode let's open this one and you can see we are able to open this ppt file as so you can fearlessly go ahead and enable these services and do let me know if you have any problem so guys if you found this video helpful please subscribe for more videos like it feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you would like to see in the future video thanks for watching the video see you in the next one